And hi there, welcome again to your everyday channel, Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today we're going to be talking about how one can clone their SIM card if they have to change their smartphone. If you cannot transfer the respective SIM across your new device, how the best way to clone it is going to be right here. And before we start, please make sure to click on that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. So now let's dive right in. So as for part one, how to clone your SIM card using SIM cloning tool. To start this discussion, we're going to be looking at one of the safest methods available in the market. The SIM cloning tool by Mobile Edit Forensic is available for masses across any operating system that one wishes to use. While being one of the most recognized tools in the market, this platform has been used for several other purposes as well. I would definitely recommend this if you were seeking to clone your SIM card. Now worrying how you'll be using it, there's nothing to worry about as we're going to walk you through exactly how to walk through Mobile Edit Forensic. So for step one, you need to download the software on your computer and remove the SIM card from your smartphone. Now you will also need a SIM card clone device for this purpose. Insert the removed SIM card across it and then connect it with it to the computer and then launch a mobile edit forensic and then launch a mobile edit forensic on your computer and then open the SIM cloning window on your front. Now first you need to go ahead and click on read SIM button in order to read the context of the original SIM card. And once that data is read, you can select one of the available data options and that you wish to copy. Now following this, you need to attach the writable SIM with the computer where you wish to clone all data of your original SIM card. And once attached, go ahead and click on the write SIM button to execute the process. So for part two, how to clone a SIM card using programmable cards. Although you can consider cloning a SIM card whenever you want to ship to a new smartphone device, there are going to be other users, other uses to cloning SIMs. So SIM cloning can be a great way to back up data that is stored across your card. Now, given the circumstances, you can consider cloning SIMs through another method of programmable cards. Before we get into the details, considering the following point as a very important consideration. Not all SIM cards can be cloned which presents you with a division that most people are not aware of. Whenever you go across cloning SIM, SIM cards, I'd just be sure to follow the following details and then you can understand which ones can be cloned, which ones would be harder to clone, and which ones can't be cloned. So the ones written as Comp128 version 1 type SIM cards can be cloned pretty easily. The Comp128 V2 type SIM cards have secure firmware that makes cloning difficult. So to execute the process of, of cloning SIM cards using programmable SIM cards, there is a checklist that you have to cover. I will be mentioning uh, the points for you to cross check. So buy a blank programmable SIM card from an online source that does not have any number. Use a SIM firmware writer that, uh, that helps you copy multiple numbers across a single SIM card. Ensure that you download War on Scan for reading your SIM cards and make sure that you have the SIM card that is ready to be cloned. Once you have covered this checklist, go ahead and proceed with the steps that I'm going to present you with right now. So for step one, I just connect the SIM reader and then get the original SIM card and install Waron Scan. And then configure the platform on your computer and run IMSI search. And write down the results and then start the ICC search in order to obtain the ICC number. And then you will have to run the key search for cloning purposes. And once done, remove your SIM card. So go ahead and download another software under the name of SIMMU for writing the settings on the blank programmable SIM card. Insert the SIM card across the SIM card reader and launch SIMMU and then lead over to your setup tab and, and add the information obtained from Boron Scan. There will be another section in this window too, and then you will also have to fill them out. And for this, I'd be helping you out in covering exactly what you need to do. So here's going to be everything shown for you as needed on screen right here. So feel free to pause this video in order to be able uh, to cross reference at everything that you see up until this step. Now for the phone number, I just write it down in international format. So for example, plus one for US numbers, followed by the rest of the 10 digit number. And once done, go ahead and click on the on the right to disk button and then name the file under the name supersim.hex and then you will get an an EE prom file in the new window where you have to save its name to supersim underscore ep.hex. 
and you will now flash all of the saved files across at the blank programmable SIM card and then add at the relevant content in the respective sections and then finally click on write in order to complete the writing task. And once this process concludes, click on done in order to clone your SIM card successfully from there. So for part three, how to clone a SIM card using IMSI and key number. Ever wonder where the phone numbers are, are stored across the SIM card? It does not store across the SIM card, but it is basically stored across the device's corresponding sensor that is identified by a respective ID number. This ID number for SIMs is referred to as the International Mobile Subscriber Identity or IMSI. Now this ID would be very important for cloning the SIM card and you also need the key authentication key of the SIM card for this purpose. With the correct information, we're going to be walking you through exactly how to get this done. So for step one, go ahead and turn off your smartphone and then remove the SIM card from it and then copy the IMSI number that you can see across the SIM card and then insert the remove SIM card across a SIM card reader. And then you need to connect this to your computer in order to copy the key number and with the available information you can now easily transfer all of the information across a new sim card it will act as a cloned sim which can be used across a smartphone device with ease and that would be it for this video uh, we hope that we have been able to help you out with the methods that can be used in order to clone your sim card and while you use these methods please make sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment down below with any questions that you might have along the way and please subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. So until next time, have a good one.